Nassim Bibi and her family are one of 50 other families who work at this brick kill in the province of Punjab. Each day they are forced to build over a thousand bricks by the local brick kill mafia and despite their hard work are paid only half of the $9 wage set by Pakistan authorities. They say they dream of freedom one day, but it's not so easy. Nassim Bibi's husband began making bricks at the age of 14. And indebted since then, he has spent 17 years of his life trying to pay back the kill owner. Brick kills are a multi-million dollar industry in Pakistan with estimates suggesting there are 20,000 of them spread over the country. Most of them run on the labor of thousands of people who are forced to work on these sites and for whom freedom is a distant dream. But now civil activists are speaking up. The Bonded Labor Liberation Front has been fighting to end modern day slavery in Pakistan and have helped release 80,000 workers from their influential brick kill owners. According to their research, there are 4.5 million people who are currently classified as bonded labor in Pakistan and are seeking to spread awareness of labor laws and human rights. But authorities deny the existence of large-scale bonded labor and claim checks and balances are enforced through strict labor inspections around the year. There are certain traditional practices coming over the centuries, and but they are not the, like the bonded labor which is perceived in other countries, that somebody is in chains and people are getting work out of him without paying anything, a compulsory sort of labor without any wages. It's not possible in cities. But many others are now coming forward like Sharif Masi, who managed to escape with the help of the Bonded Labor Liberation Front. And injustice prevails for many like him, helpless and who become a mere cog in the brick factory. Many of the people you see here are indebted laborers living in extreme poverty and often exploited by large brick kill owners. Almost everyone here hopes their voices will be heard, but with almost no governance and a lack of implementation of laws, their dreams of freedom remain distant. In Rawalpindi, Sib Kefi, Channel News Asia.